All right, coaches, we're going to go ahead and talk about the kettlebell rotational loads uh, that we have in tomorrow's workout. Um, as I've got this set up, we have a 24 inch box with a drop pad on the top. We have a yoga mat on the floor just to kind of make it a little less um, uncomfortable on the knees as we're doing this. And then we have our relatively heavy kettlebell uh, that we'll be using for loading. Um, now, the movement itself, we're going to start on our knees. We want to think about grabbing the kettlebell by the horns, right? We don't want to grab the top of the handle because the emphasis there is then going to turn into this high pull type action where we're smoking out the shoulders and the neck and most likely something will go wrong. So we really want to emphasize to our athletes that we're grabbing it by the horns and then picking it up and rotating from the torso, right? So, I'm gonna demo a couple reps. A couple things I want you to notice. Obviously, the grip of the horns, the rotation of the torso and shoulders, and then when I set it down, I'm gonna always take my hands off of it for a moment, and then re-grip, set it down, and also take my hands off of it for a moment. So, grip. So, there's three reps performed uh, in tomorrow's workout. We have uh, seven reps per side. So obviously, once I've done my seventh rep, I put it on the ground and I would just turn and face the opposite direction and perform my next seven reps, rotating the opposite direction. So, pretty straightforward there. As far as logistics go, you guys can use the big boxes or the small boxes, but I want everybody working at a 24 inch box and then the challenge is what is the appropriate weight for the exercise and again we do want it to have some significance to it we don't want it to just be super light where they're kind of flopping around uh, without much control so heavy enough that they have to think about the movement and really dial in um, the other thing to consider is that while i'm on this side somebody could be on that side but we're basically alternating our, our reps, and we can kind of make this a team or a shared box station just to optimize the equipment a little bit. So, um, and it kind of makes it a little bit more coordinated and uh, a little bit more fun for our folks. So feel free to implement that if you'd like, but that's gonna be the kettlebell load, rotational load, um, that you'll see in tomorrow's workout. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions.